Atomics, Memory and Threads. Back in the day, computers only had one CPU core. Threads were more a unit of time sharing than parallelism, as they could not yet run at the same time. Sure, some threads needed to run or finish before others, but when it came to memory access, things were very naive and simple. If you were around when the first consumer multi-core CPUs were released, you'll know they broke a lot of software. This is because, for the first time ever, two threads might actually manipulate the same data at the same time. When two threads are writing to the same memory address at the same time, information is lost. Here's why that happens. For performance reasons, each CPU core has its own cache. This cache maps to regions of the global memory. Data manipulated inside the processor doesn't appear in the global memory space until the cache is flushed. When the same memory is being manipulated, it essentially exists in two different locations that are not synchronized. Atomics are implemented by special instructions in the hardware. They instruct the CPU to flush its cache and lock memory access to the global space while doing so. This is relatively expensive and therefore not the default mode of memory access. We have to tell the computer when we want it to do this. In C++, we can use the atomic template object. When we increment this object, we know that it is safe across threads. Thanks for watching. 